Hi guys, I'm Tanya and welcome back to my channel, The Donkey Business. I just finished watching one of my favorite Malayalam movies from 2022 and the name of the film is Jaya 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 Hey, which is available on Disney Plus Hotstar. Directed by Whipin Das, starring Basil Joseph and Darshana Rajendran. Oh my god, this is a movie which was totally unexpected. To be very honest, when I started watching the movie and the first half of the film, the film is basically about this girl who stays in a village and she's studying and has no say in her own life when it comes to personal stuff, education, marriage, how she should be treated, what she should be doing, even small stuff like using her own personal things. It is a society that we live in which is dominated by men and in this movie, they have brutally shown it. So when I started watching the movie and this was the story that they were getting to, I thought that it's going to be one of the movies which is like the great Indian kitchen, which is like super sad and like, you know, she rises from the ashes kind of a film where it's like it turns into feminism in her own way. And, you know, she has like her own struggle, but she does it in the end. And I, I love those films. I'm a huge fan of the great Indian kitchen but I thought that this is also going to be in that zone where she will do something but the movie is way beyond that I loved every part of the film so the movie starts with this where they show that she is you know like not doing the way she should be doing though she wants to study and grow in life and then so she gets into this relationship and she wants to marry this guy but then he abuses her and then before the village should come to know they say that you know let's get her married they get her married to this guy who tells her that oh yeah yeah she can study and you know work after marriage no problem but then when they get married he just flips he has anger issues He's a pathetic human being. He's a proper guy who you don't want in your life as a brother, father, boyfriend or anything. He abuses her. He's insecure. He's possessive. He is just a shit human being. And the character is played by Basil Joseph, who I think has done an amazing job. There were times when he would come on camera and I would just be like, oh my God, he's come. Why has he come? Just ask him to leave. I was feeling claustrophobic. Then the woman, Darshana, she is being abused and, you know, she's calling her family and her family is just saying stuff like, uh, you know, like women need to compromise if a man is abusing you. It's okay sometimes in a marriage. It's not. But then while watching the film, I realized that, oh my God, this actually happens and we just ignore it because we feel it's normal. But it's actually not normal and it's not supposed to be like that. While watching the film, honestly, I was just like watching it, watching it, watching it. But things were just hitting my cord. And I was like, oh my God, th I have seen this so many times. I have seen, okay, I have friends who come to me and tell me that we're not happy in our relationship. And we really want a divorce. But a family, our, like their family, like her family is basically telling her that she has no space in the house. And she's forced to be in that relationship. I felt like we are a liability in some families and they just want us to leave and once we get married we're not their responsibility at all even if for that matter of fact we're supposed to get slapped and hit and abused mentally physically emotionally and this film had a very raw way of showing that so the first half an hour 40 minutes of the film is this and I was just like oh my god this is so sad and I want to see what she does but I just thought it was going to be a super depressing film but then the film took this insane turn which I loved now we would think something like okay maybe she runs away or she starts working somewhere or she meets other women and they form a group and something something like that but no this cool girl played by Darshana who also has done an amazing job she starts learning how to defend herself online and she goes through videos and once when her husband comes to hit her she hits him back and kicks the hell out of him to such a level that now he's scared of her 
and the way the director has shown this the screenplay the music the atmosphere the edit is just amazing it's just like a film so serious just takes an amazing turn and lights the mood but also makes total sense and that's exactly how every woman should behave when she is getting abused by a man who's apparently she's supposed to live with forever so now the guy gets scared of her and he doesn't know what to do and he's just like oh my god you know he is exactly feeling how she used to feel and and then he comes up with this hideous plan of getting her pregnant and um once she has a child she'll stay at home so then he starts behaving like oh my god i love you and i'm sorry and you're the best wife ever and let's mend things and now she's like okay fine you know what now that i can't get a divorce and now that he's changing maybe it's time that i forgive him so then she also starts like going like okay fine i can think about it and then he gets her pregnant only to make her realize that this was just a part of a plan to punish her for abusing him men i don't want to abuse right now but what the hell so then she just stands up for herself she makes sure she gets a divorce and the last 10 minutes of the movie give her full justice the film is witty dark emotional inspiring promising and a great directed film i did not expect the film to take such a turn i was glued on the screen i was like what's going to happen yeah man do it i was cheering for her as a woman okay i don't want to talk about it but i know a lot of people who've been in abusive relationships including some people who are extremely close to me and i know how it feels and when i was watching that i was just like yes this is how men should be treated and this is exactly how women should stand up for themselves because we've obviously had enough and how much ever we say that okay it's it doesn't happen and you know like that those times have gone where like men abuse women and all of that that's bullshit i know that it happens in almost every house and one slap apparently is fine also there's a very nice dialogue in the movie which i loved where one of the uh, characters told darshana that you know once a while if you get slapped is fine and she makes this whole calculation and she's like oh so i'm supposed to be slapped like a thousand times and that's supposed to be okay if i am supposed to be slapped and the society will come to know don't let the society even come to know about him i loved these dialogues i loved the small details that the director took and it literally hit me and i know that everybody in this world would be able to connect to this film cuz this 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 does not only happen in india it happens everywhere in the world it is a male dominant society in general i'm not saying that every male beats a woman but there is some kind of imbalance or like unfairness that happens and we think it's normal but it's not so the film is about that it is a very well made film the editing the acting the direction the writing the music everything about the film is amazing and the witty dialogues oh my god i loved it it's available on disney and i highly recommend it please watch it it is a very good film and and one of my top 5 of the malayalam films i've seen in 2022 Highly recommend it. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.